But before we start anything new, we want to be super clear about where we're going um, and visualize it before we even start. That way, um, because without a clear idea of where we're going, sometimes the flyer could have a different understanding of where they are going with the base. Base is thinking we're going here. The flyer thinks, oh, I thought we were going here. And in the middle of a pop, there is no room, no margin for error, especially if you guys are on different uh, pages. So what is point B? Point B is we're over here behind me. We're going to get into point B, reverse bird. Looking up, pressing off the hands, there. You can't fall this way if you're pressing off of the hands, right? There's no, there's no fall. It's, it'll, be, it'll be boom, up like this. More than likely, you're going to push too far and land on your feet that way. That's why we did the bouncing off the toes earlier to warm the toes up because you can definitely jam the foot. So you want to be able to absorb that weight. Um, that said, the worst part is, of course, going straight forward. So what can we do to prevent that from happening? Demo again, up to reverse bird. You're from star, you pop down to reverse bird, you can go this way. But if you push off of the hands, it'll keep your torso up, the arms are locked, and they're pushing against mine, my arms are locked. Bases, try not to do this. So I, a lot of bases will do like pushing like this, mm -hmm. like in regular bird hands. It's not, it's reverse bird, it's down this way. I have to push you low here so that you have something to push off of. There. So really strong push. Boom, keep your legs off of the ground because they'll want to fall this way. So it's just a nice hips forward, pushing off the arm, legs up, reverse bird. Be really clear about that, okay? Yes. All right, so let's start with star. We'll jump into star. And I'll, everything I do is I always try to walk it first. Why pop something? when you haven't even walked it. Right, here we go, one, two, jumping. Up, in the start. Okay, pencil together, hips forward. There we go. So as I slowly guide you this way towards the reverse bird, I'm gonna walk this foot off onto your hip. Know where point B is, okay? Up, there, arms pushing. So for this particular transition, Kirsten, the, uh, the walking could actually be a lot harder than just the popping because there's there's so much kind of awkwardness going on. Right. Hands through, back into star, dipping the shoulder, straddle, pushing up and down. But I do want to walk it with you a few times so at least you know what the feeling is like on my feet. If a base can't do this walk, then I want you to at least practice you on the ground first, so you know what you can do to protect yourself in this spot because the more confident you are in flying this you fly this point you want, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll pencil again, hips forward, we're gonna walk it again. This foot's coming off, looking over the reverse bird, pushing up. So a natural tendency there is to pull, right? Right. You pull, um, very natural. What you want to do is even when you're feeling like you're falling, you gotta push so the, that your partner is pushing with you and against you. Okay. Um, that's a really uh, and I find that to be yeah, a, good, that. a good theme in relationships too. When you're at a point where there's conflict and you feel like your partner is not supporting you, because at a moment there, you don't feel like I'm pushing with you. I totally get that. So there's a tendency to want to pull um, because you feel like, well, they're not supporting me. I'm going to pull back. Totally reasonable, right? But in that act of pulling away, you're actually hurting yourself more than helping yourself. So. It takes that trust to know that your partner is there and will be there for you. But the only way that you'll be able to feel that 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 pushing back is if you push too, if you give. Because when you give, you'll feel like, oh shit, they're meeting me halfway. But I needed to meet them halfway. Otherwise, you can't feel that support if you don't have a mindset of that or a trust that they'll be there. So continue to push, even though you have that feeling of like they're not there. If you push, you'll feel them to meet you halfway. So we'll go once more from star. One, up, beautiful, and so, this time I'm going to focus on pushing through, okay? Through. Oh, missed ya! Good! We had our first fall. <laughs> so you see how you could land on your toes there? Yeah. Well, we jumped on them a bit. You good? Mm-hmm. And, okay. Um, let's go ahead and do a pop 
with me today, and then I will try to teach you how to do this on the ground. The pop will be easier, I promise you. It'll feel scary, but you know what point B is. Point B is you're going through my feet, you're gonna look up back towards the sky as you come through, right? Looking up, front of feet. Push forward, there it is. A constant push in the arms, okay? One, two. There Sorry, is. I felt like I was falling. Totally. A real common uh, thing that flyers will do while they're and star are about to pop down, you'll be here, you'll get your hips forward, but as soon as there's a pop, instead of instead of coming to continue to push your hips forward, you'll want to collapse like that. Yeah. Uh, which is totally understandable because you want to get your feet on the ground first. Oh yeah, right? and it's like yeah. <laughs> kind of going into the fetal position. Exactly. So one one way that I help to train with that is go ahead and do some uh, bird bird trust falls where you're just pushing your hips forward, looking up, just back and forth. Not even mounting. We're just working on the hips forward. Not even jumping on, just leaning in. There it is. Just practicing leaning into the fear. You feel like you're gonna fall on your face. You've got to lean into that fear. And trust that on the other side of that fear, you'll find your strength. There it is. Hips forward, core strong, good. Two more times. Hips forward, keep hips forward, hips forward, and back. We'll keep training that, okay? Okay. Let's try it once more. I like this working through it because it's more real, you know? Um, it's not like, not like Mozart learned how to write the Fifth Symphony in the first try, right? <laughs> there we go. Two, one, up. Feet pencil together. So we, we learned last time hips forward, right? Hips forward, push it through the arms. Nice. Two, hips forward, one. That's it, right there. And then once you get enough of those experiences with references that you can do it successfully, you'll have more and more confidence. Okay, we'll come back down again. And building that muscle memory, what that is like. Two, one, hips up. Straddle out, when you're ready, continue. Same thing. The most important thing is to push off those hands and two of the hips forward. One, two, push. There it is. Beautiful. So I've got to push. I'm pushing off of uh, my arms while I pop you a bit. I'm constantly pushing with you so you have that platform to push off of. Otherwise, you have the base needs to really, and you're not pushing this way. I'm trying to push that way so you have something to push off of because we're in reverse bird. It's very important. Again. Let's get you to star. This hand goes through. Okay, there we go. Pencil feet when you're ready. Same thing. The primary thing is to push through the arms. The secondary thing is hips forward. Focusing on the arms. There you go. Hips forward. One, two. Boom, beautiful. And, and I've got to be able to absorb your weight, not just catch you, but absorb some of it so it's not so shocking. Absorb and then push up. Perfect. Okay, one more demo. Here we go. Start. Two, one, jump. Look at your hair out of the way. There it is. Pencil feet. Very good. Primary focus is arms pushing. Secondary is hips forward. One, two, Push. Yes. Perfect.